Hi, welcome to the channel English Professionally. And you know this video course is 30 phrasal verbs. You need to know, really, just imagine it, 30 phrasal verbs, yeah. Yeah, good. And the first one is go on, okay? Do you know this phrasal verb? Yeah, and you know, I have a question for you. Would you like to know phrasal verbs and use them in your speech? I hope so. This video is for you, okay? So, speak English fluently using phrasal verbs, okay? If you want to sound natural in English, you really need phrasal verbs. Also, have a look at our great video, 250 phrasal verbs, okay? So, you know, you can put a like and share it with your friends, yeah, you can share this video with your friends. And, you know, I hope you'll enjoy this video. I really hope so. I really hope so. Okay? Are you ready to start? Okay? So, the first phrase word is go on. It means continue doing something. Okay? Look, I want to continue learning English on this channel. You know, we say continue doing something, yeah, please, remember it. So, continue learning, okay? I want to continue learning English on this channel. This channel is amazing, okay? It really helps. I study phrasal verbs, okay? I study phrasal verbs, yeah, on the channel, yeah, you can say on the channel, yeah? On, you, I study phrasal verbs on the channel English professionally. Uh, teaching English in English. So, really, it's a great idea and I really hope you understand it, okay? So, you can smile. Yeah, you can smile if you understand uh, me. And so, the question remains the same, yeah? Or the question is the same. Why do we need phrasal verbs? Why do we need them, really? Why do we need phrasal verbs, okay? So, yeah. Can we do without them? So, you know, native speakers often use phrasal verbs. So, if you want to understand native speakers, you need to know them. Okay? So, I want to go on. It means I want to continue. And you can see different examples. Okay? I want to go on learn English here, okay? So, we say go on, we say go on doing something, okay? Uh, students often forget about ing, please, don't forget about it, okay? So, I want to go on doing something. Uh, for example, I want to go on learning English here, or I want to continue learning English here. It's a great idea. Brilliant idea, okay? I want to go on making money. I want to go on living in this country, okay? Or let me give you one more example. I'd like to go on making a career. Why not? Why not? So I think it's a good idea. Or I'd like to continue making a career, okay? Well, so do you have uh, do you have a job? So do you work or study? What's a job? Would you like to make a career, or would you like to go on making a career? So these questions are very good for English speaking practice. Okay, good. More examples. I continued talking to her. Yeah, continue doing something, or I went on talking to her. So. It's past simple. It's past simple. Okay. It's uh, past simple. It's past simple. You see. You see. All right. So I went on, or I continue talking to her. Next, I think I'll continue playing tennis. Okay. Continue playing tennis, or I think I'll go on playing tennis. Okay. So, how are you going to learn English? How are you going to learn English, really? <laughs> so, I suppose, or I think, I'll go on learning English grammar and vocabulary on the channel English professionally, okay? 
So we say go on doing, okay? Go on learning. I suppose I'll continue learning grammar and vocabulary on the channel English professionally. Does it really help you? Sure. Sure means yeah, really, really it helps. It helps a lot, of course. Suddenly, okay? You can go on learning English here too. Yeah, good. Okay? So, and uh, I think that you need uh, some homework, okay? So, homework, make up some sentences, make up some sentences, okay? So, you can continue, yeah, you can continue it, you can develop, you can develop this idea, okay? You can develop this idea. You know, it's very good. So, this task is very good. Uh, for your fluency and for English speaking practice, okay? So this task uh, is very good, very good for fluency in English, for fluency in English. It's a very good, okay? Uh, it's a very good English speaking practice, okay? So it's a very good English speaking practice okay wait a, wait a bit for english speaking practice okay so please develop this idea continue it okay so i want to go on and then you add something okay so i'd like to go on and then you add something or do you want to go on so you can write these sentences in the comments okay so you can make up the sentences and write them in the comments below okay or would you like to go on okay and more exercises i went on and i think i'll go on okay very good really very good okay so the next phrasal verb is get up okay okay so i usually get up at seven o'clock in the morning okay so you go to bed you go to bed uh, then you then you open your eyes then you open your eyes okay so you wake up okay you wake up and then and then you get up and then you get up okay so you get out of bed you get out oh terrible okay you get out you get out of you get out of bed okay really look you go to bed so you sleep yeah uh, then you you open your eyes uh, you wake up and then you get up you get out of bed okay good so I usually get up for example at eight o'clock in the morning I usually get up after midday okay I usually get up at one o'clock in the afternoon. It's so late. It's so late. So, you know. Okay. And really, what time do you usually get up? What time do you usually get up? At eight o'clock in the morning. Okay. I like getting up early. I like getting up late. Okay. We often say, or we mostly say like doing something. Okay. Like getting. Okay, please remember it, like getting up early, like getting up late, or I don't like getting up early, or, yeah, you see, like doing, don't like getting up early, or I hate, I hate getting up early, you know, it's stronger, it sounds stronger than I don't like, so it means that I really, I really don't like it, so, yeah, so that's not for me, I hate, and we often, and we also say hate doing. I hate getting up early. <laughs> I hate doing. That's not for me. Okay, and really, do you like getting up early? So, this question is for you. You can write your answer. Actually not. Actually not. It means that, no, I have to do it. I have to do it. So, it means that I don't like it, but I do it. Yeah, so, I think it's okay. Yeah, if we explain, if we also explain grammar and... English grammar and vocabulary in context, okay? So, I have no choice. I'd like to get up at about 10 o'clock in the morning, okay? 
So have to is a modal verb, yeah? We use it uh, when we do something, but we have no choice, so we don't want, we don't want to do it, okay? So in the morning, not earlier. And what time do you usually get up? So you can give a short answer or a full answer, a full answer, okay? So, and um, I have this question for you. So, you know, you need to have more practice. You need to have more practice, more speaking practice with phrasal verbs. If you really want to remember them or if you really want to memorize them. Memorize it means to learn them by heart, okay? So, do you like getting up early? So, it's some kind of homework. It's homework for you, exercises, yeah? So, do you like getting up early? Why? Why not? So, you can write the answer uh, in the comments. What time does your best friend usually get up? So, make up your own examples, okay? So, it's homework, homework, homework. So, I think that you like, you like doing your homework. Oh, no, sorry. Um, you really like doing your homework. Oh, no. You enjoy doing your homework. Yeah, it's a joke. But, you know, it's important. It's important and I think it's important uh, to learn English with pleasure. Okay, and uh, I suppose that uh, we are doing it right now. Okay, so, well done. Well done. Excellent. My congratulations, but we need to go ahead. Okay, so, you know, the third one is give up give up okay okay give up so you know you do something regularly and then you stop doing it so in other words you give it up so stop doing or give up yeah we say give up something or give up doing something look i stopped smoking I stop smoking, yeah? So, I mean, it means that uh, I smoked earlier and, uh, you know, I don't smoke, yeah? It was earlier. I stop smoking or I give up. I give up smoking. I give up smoking, okay? So, we say give up doing, okay? And stop doing. I stop smoking and I give up smoking, okay? So, or I gave it up. I gave it up. You know that uh, it's it is a pronoun. It is a pronoun. It is a pronoun. And we put it in the middle. And we put it in the middle. It's a rule. Please remember it. And we put it and we put it only and we put it only in the middle. And we put it only in the middle, okay? So it's a rule. It's a rule. So I gave it up only this way, okay? So you can say I stopped to smoke, but it's about a moment. So so you were walking, 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 you wanted to smoke, and then you stopped, yeah? And so you started smoking, yeah? Uh, but if you stop doing it, if you stop doing it completely, so you say, or uh, really stop doing or, you know, give up doing well. So, yeah, it's about moments. So you were walking, for example, and then you decided to stop. You wanted to smoke, okay? Other examples. I give up smoking. I give up smoking. I give up drinking beer. I give up drinking beer, okay, or I stopped drinking beer, I give up playing football at the end of the season, so stop or give up, I give up tennis, which means I stopped playing tennis, okay, so exercises, okay, so what did you give up doing and why, so these exercises are very important for speaking. What did you give up doing and why? Okay. Uh, for example, I gave up learning Chinese. Yeah. So I stopped learning Chinese. It means I started learning, but then you know I stopped doing it for some reason. Okay. So for example, I gave up learning Chinese. 
my level got a bit higher than elementary. It was about pre-intermediate, okay? And uh, I came to the conclusion, so though I had this idea in my mind, that I needed plenty of time, so plenty of time means lots of time, to improve my Chinese greatly, or to make it better, to make it better, to make it much better. I need lots of time. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, so, or yet fortunately, I had no spare time or I had no free time and I had to give it up. Yeah, we put it in the middle. We put it in the middle, so it's English grammar. So, this video is also for English grammar, not also, not only for English vocabulary. So, this is my story and you can write uh, something, yeah, about your experience. You can write your story. Yeah, it would be great, okay? So, well, you know that uh, this phrasal verb, give up, has the second meaning, okay? So, I won't give up. I won't give up, yeah? It means that uh, I won't get depressed. I won't um, get uh, depressed. I won't get uh, depressed. I won't stop. I won't uh, stop, yeah? Look, I won't give up. I'll continue, I'll continue preparing for this exam no matter how difficult it might be. It means that it can be difficult, but I won't stop, I won't stop, I won't feel depressed, I'll do it, I'll be strong enough, I'll be strong enough to do it, okay? And uh, I hope I'll pass it, I hope I'll pass it, and never give up, never give up, so never get depressed, never get depressed. Believe in yourself, yeah? Uh, th think why it's important not to give up in life so you can uh, speak about it. Good. Okay? Good. So, next, break down. So, the next phrase of verb, break down. So, we often use it with cars, okay? His car broke down. Or, my car broke down. Or, to my surprise, for example, my car broke down. It means uh, stopped working. Okay, stopped. It means stopped working. It means stopped working. So my car broke down. My car broke down. To my surprise, yeah, my car broke down. Or my car broke down suddenly. Or we can also say all of a sudden. It means suddenly or unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Okay. So. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? I have some questions for you. Do you have a car? So, when did it break down last time? So, if you don't have a car, tell us when your parents' car broke down last time. Okay? Good. Yeah, and uh, compare uh, break and uh, break down. So, he broke the pen, so he uh, did it. So, a person did it, a person did it, and uh, the washing machine broke down, the washing machine broke down, so it means stopped working, okay, stopped working. Yeah, you know that this phrasal verb has the second meaning, so break down a barrier, for example, I want, yeah, to break down or overcome, overcome, overcome a barrier, look, I want to break down the language barrier, yeah? I want to overcome this barrier. So, I want to speak English fluently, okay? So, it's my aim. So, do you want to break down the language barrier? How are you going? How are you going to do it, yeah? So, and, um, yeah, there is one more meaning. So, she broke down and started crying, yeah? She was so upset. It was a real tragedy for her, it was a real tragedy for her, so break down, so sh she couldn't, yeah, she, it means, uh, began to cry, she began uh, to cry, uh, she couldn't, uh, she couldn't hide her feelings, okay, she couldn't, she couldn't hide her feelings, she couldn't uh, hide her feelings, yeah, and started crying, she was so upset, it was a real tragedy for her, Okay, have you ever broken down and started crying? Tell us about that. Okay, 
Does your car often break down? Actually not. I have a reliable car. It means that uh, good car. I can rely on it. Good car. Yeah, and you know, I know it isn't so easy to break down the language barrier, but it's possible to do it. Right? Absolutely, yeah. It means of course. Okay, I broke down and started crying. So I need your support. No problem. You can count on me. So very good examples. And I hope that I can count, uh, you know, on your support and you can also count on my help. Good. Okay, next. Write down. So do you write English words correctly? I try to do it. Let me give you an example. This word is new for me. I'd like to write it down. Yeah, I'd like to write it down. Okay? So we often use it in this codex. Okay? So I'd like to write it down. So I'd like to have it to have it on paper. I'd like to have it on paper. I'd like to write it down or to memorize it better. Memorize means to remember it better. Okay? And uh, I have a speaking task for you. Do you think it's important to write down all the new English words? All the new English words you meet. Okay? Is it important or not? Okay? So, for example, memorize. Yeah? It's maybe so a new word for you. So, you can take a pen. So, where is my pen? Or oh, I don't see it. I see only, I see only uh, my keyboard so only my keyboard so I don't see uh, a pen so yeah I only type okay so I think that uh, I won't write it down but maybe you have uh, a different idea so do you think it's important to write down all the new English words you made okay so um, can I go on have you uh, written down this new word yeah I have Yes, I have, yeah, but I feel I need to make up my own examples to know it better. Sure, let's do it. You can make up your own examples and it's a good idea. Okay, so next. So, wake up, wake up. So, I'm sure you need to know these two phrasal verbs, yeah. Get up and wake up. So, we talked about it. And uh, I have a question. What do we do first? Okay, get up or wake up. Get up or wake up. Certainly, first we wake up. Yeah, when we open our when we open our eyes, and then we get up, and then we get up. Okay, so you can say, for example, I usually wake up at seven o'clock in the morning, or I usually wake up very early. Uh, then I lie in bed for about an hour. After that, I get up. Okay, exercises. I think that you really like them. So, what time do you usually wake up? Okay, what do you do after that? Do you get up immediately? Or maybe you lie in bed? Okay, so do you think it's important to wake up and get up earlier? in order to do more things during the day. So, in order to means uh, to... So, if you want maybe to do more things during the day, uh, maybe you want to wake up earlier. So, it means so, maybe, maybe yes, yeah. So, please uh, tell us about that. Yeah, so 7 and 8, stand up and sit down, okay? So, two opposite, two opposite, two opposite phrasal verbs, two opposite phrasal verbs, okay? So, compare, please, compare, stand up, stand up, okay, so, stand up, okay, okay, and uh, uh, sit down, okay, sit down, please, and we say, uh, sit down, please, okay, and uh, look at this verbs yeah stand look he was standing near the shop he was standing and sit yeah I sat on a chair so we say sat on a chair but but what but sat in an armchair please remember it okay so stand up and uh, sit down 
Well, there is one more meaning. Stand up for your rights or uh, stand up for yourself. It uh, has a meaning. It has a meaning of defend. It means defend your rights. Defend yourself. Okay. So you need to stand up for your rights or you need to defend your rights otherwise. So otherwise or or. Yeah. It means or, but otherwise, yeah, this word is a little formal. Otherwise, they can win the case. They can win the case. Okay, exercises. Do you think it's necessary to stand up for your rights sometimes? Okay, or do you think it's important to defend your rights sometimes? Okay, so maybe someone hit you, hit you, yes, very hard. I don't know, I don't know. And so will you stand up for your rights or not? Or maybe another situation, another uh, situation uh, can happen, okay? So, when did, did you do it last time? So, when did you stand up for your rights uh, last time? So, describe the situation, describe the situation, okay? Good. Next, grow up. So, we say grow something, for example, fruit or vegetables. I grow vegetables in my garden. And we say grow up talking about people, talking about uh, people. So, so when they, you know, uh, for example, when they uh, become adults, when they become adults, when they become adults. So it's a process, yeah. So uh, first, so he or she is a child, yeah, and then he or she. As a teenager and then an adult, okay. So child, so child, teenager, teenager, adult, yeah. Maybe baby, yeah. Baby, child, teenager, and adult. So you grow up, yeah. Or for example, I grew up in America. I grew up in Russia, maybe in India, yeah. Maybe in Vietnam, in Brazil, okay. So, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I grew up in a big city. So, it means uh, I grew up in a big city. It means I spent my childhood there. I spent my childhood there. Okay. I spent my childhood there. Or I grew up in a small town. Okay. So, exercises. Where did you grow up? Yeah, so where did you grow up? So in what country, in what city, in what yeah, place? Would you like to live in another country? Do you wish you had grown up in another country or city and why? So do you wish or not? Okay, so you know, it's about English grammar. Please have a look at our playlists on grammar. So I think that it really is very useful, it's extremely useful and you'll also enjoy it. Good. Okay, so what about these phrasal verbs? Be out, be away, go out and go away, okay? So, be out and go out. Please, look. Is he at home? No, he's out. He isn't at home. So, be out means um, not uh, to be at home. So, he's out, he isn't at home. Or you can say he went out, he went out, it means he left home, okay? He left home, he left home, he went out, he left home, okay? Look, he went out for a walk, more examples, he went out for a walk, he went out for a meal, yeah? And we also meet be away and go away, look, so it's usually... It's usually for a long time, for a long time, and um, uh, a distant place, a distant and uh, a distant uh, place, okay? For a long time and a distant place, so maybe another city, another country. Look, my parents are away. So, my parents went away to Italy or to another city, to another country, okay? So, good. Well, so exercises. Do you like it when your parents go away 
to another country, what do you usually do? Do you have fun? Or maybe do you learn English all day? Okay. So are you a hard working student? Are you a hard working student? Okay. Uh, do you like staying at home alone? How often do you go out for a walk or for a meal with your friends? Do you think that socialization is very important? So what is socialization? Socialization is communicating, communicating, or communication with other people, talking. It's when you talk to other people or socialize, socialization. So you need to socialize, yeah. So or maybe not. So do you think it's important or not? Good. So fourteen. Call back. Call back. Okay. So can you talk to me now? I am afraid not. I am a little busy. I'll call you back later. I'll call you back later. Okay. So someone uh, calls you, and then uh, you can't uh, answer. You can't answer, and you say, "I'll call you back. I'll call you back, or I'll call you back later." Look, or I'll call you back later, or I'll call you back soon. I'll call you back in a minute, or in a second, in three minutes, in five minutes, or I'll call you back quite soon. Okay. So. Can you talk to me now? Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. I really love, I'd really love to talk to you, but I can't do it at the moment. Okay? Can you call me back later? Yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay? It means it's easy. I'll do it. No problem. Okay? So, hurry up. Yeah, 15. So, who knows how to translate this verb? Hurry up. Hurry up, okay? Please look at these situations. Look at these situations. Hurry up or you'll miss the bus. Hurry up or you'll miss the bus. Okay? Hurry up means uh, so do it quickly. Do it quickly. Okay? Do it very quickly. So do everything very quickly. So do it very quickly or do everything. Do everything uh, very quickly. So hurry up or you'll miss the bus. So if you don't hurry up, so you'll miss the bus. So uh, you won't uh, take it, yeah, or you won't catch it, and you'll be late. Yeah, hurry up, or you'll be late. Hurry up, or you'll be late. Okay, hurry up. We go. We have no time. So do everything quickly, please. Yeah, hurry up. We've run out of time. So run out of is also a phrasal verb. It means that uh, our time finished. We have no time, so we have no time. So we have run out of time. Hurry up! It's time we left home. Start. It's time we left home. Okay. And I don't like it when other people hurry me up. Yeah. When they tell me, please do it very quickly. Please, 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 please. And uh, you know, it's very annoying, and uh, I hate it, and I maybe lose concentration, and I lose my patience. So I don't like it when other people hurry me up, okay? Good. So put on, put on. So she put on a very beautiful dress, okay? She put on a very beautiful dress. It means uh, she put it on her body. Put it, put it on her body. Put it on, on her body, okay? I'd like to put on this sweater. I'd like to put on this sweater. So the opposite phrasal verb is take off. Yeah, two opposite phrasal verbs. Yeah, he took off his coat. So put on and take off. It has the opposite meaning. Yeah, okay. So I took off that sweater. Yeah, you know this phrasal verb has the second meaning. So she put on weight. She put on weight. So or she gained. She gained weight. So her weight is bigger now. So her weight uh, was, uh, you know, maybe 60 kilos, and then it became 70. So it was 60, and then became 70. So she put on weight. She put on weight. Okay. Oh, she put on five kilos, for example. Yeah. So she was 60, and then she became 65. She put on five kilos. I wouldn't like to put on weight or to gain weight. Okay. So exercises. Would you like to put on weight or lose it? 
huh, why? Yeah. So would you like to have more weight or less weight? So do you remember the time when you put on weight suddenly? Why did it happen? So what advice can you give in order to keep fit? So in order to be healthy? Do you think it's so good when people are always putting on weight and getting all weight? So maybe good, maybe maybe not, yeah? So please tell us about that. What should they do? What should they do? Okay, good. So uh, the next sort of verb is run out. Good. Okay, run out. So look. Let's remember present perfect. The formation of present perfect. How do we form it? So have has plus past participle or plus the third form. Plus the third form. Okay? Good. You know that we often use this phrasal verb with a present perfect. So we use present perfect. So if there is a connection with the present, if there is a connection, if there is a connection with the present. So yeah, it's about the past. It's about the past. It's about it's about the past, okay? Uh, but, yeah, but there is a connection, okay? Uh, but uh, there is a connection with the present, okay? So, look, you have no time, so time finished, and you can say, we've run out of time. So, run out of something means finish, okay? It means uh, finish, okay? Good. Well, so... Okay, run out of time means uh, finish. So, we've run out of time, or maybe we've run out of money, we've run out of food, okay? So, I also think you prefer to sound more native, to sound more native, and you know that native speakers often use short forms, okay? So, you know that present perfect is have has plus past participle, or plus the third form, but native speakers often say, I mean, not we have run out of time, but we've, okay? We've run out of time. Good. So, the money finished. And you can say, I've run out of money, yeah? I've run out of money. So, we often see it, yeah, in present perfect, I've run out of money. So, yeah, run out of time, run out of money. So, you know, these phrases are very common in English. So, and I have some exercises for you. So, really, I have several questions, especially for you. Do you often run out of money? When was it last time? Why did it happen? Do you think that your time management is perfect? Do you often run out of time when you don't expect it or you don't want it? So, time management is how you manage your time. So, do you often run out of time? And so, uh, maybe uh, you plan some things, uh, but uh, you want maybe to do this thing, you want to do that thing, uh, but um, suddenly you understand or suddenly you realize that you don't have time for all these things, okay? So, yeah, so do you often run out of time when you don't expect it or you don't want it? Okay, be over, okay? So, the lesson is over. It means the lesson finished. Okay, it means the lesson finished. So the game is over, or we often, yeah, we often see game over, game over. It means so the game is over, the game is over. So, yeah, be o to be over means finished. Okay, so you may think that we mostly use this phrasal verb in present simple. But it isn't so. It isn't so, so, or it isn't the case. We can use it talking about the past or talking about the future. Look, the war was over at last. So it means the war finished at last. Okay, was over at last. The war finished at last. Or the lesson will be over. Okay, so the lesson will finish soon. Yeah, so. A legendary phrase 
uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why it is here. So let's delete it. Okay. So the lesson will be over soon. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a legendary phrase. I mean, yeah. I mean, game over. So we often see it. Uh, yeah, at the end of uh, different games. So game over. Yeah. We've talked. We just talked about it. So the game is over. The game is over. Good. So exercises. So welcome, welcome to exercises. Are you always happy when your English lessons are over? Why? Why not? So do you remember this kind of situation when you were bitterly disappointed? It means that you were really disappointed, sad, upset or unhappy that the game was over. So it can be a different game. Tell us more about this situation. Yeah, look. How how do we pronounce this word? Many students, I don't know why, but many students mispronounce this word. Mispronounce, okay? So please, don't mispronounce this word. Don't mispronounce it. Don't mispronounce it. Don't mispronounce this word. Many students say situation, but in fact it's situation. Situation. Sh situation. So tell us more about this situation okay so well three more phrasal verbs yeah they are very similar come back be back and get back okay look very going very going I'll be back soon I'll be back it means I'll return I'll return soon okay or I'll be back in a minute I'll be back in a second or you can also say come back yeah Come back and stay with us. So return and stay with us. But you know, return sounds more formal. Yeah, it sounds more. It sounds more formal. Yeah. So come back and stay with us. I'll come back quite soon. Okay, good. And uh, get back. So it also means um, return. Yeah, it's getting dark. It's getting dark or it's becoming dark. You know that this verb. Uh, has um, many meanings and uh, if you wanted we can make a long and useful video about the verb get yeah maybe it will can last for one hour for two hours but we'll you know study the most important information about this verb okay so we need to get back so it's getting dark we need to get back so we need to return and let's get back to our previous discussion. So let's return, yeah? Let's talk about it again. So let's get back to the previous point, to the previous idea, to the previous point, okay? And exercises. So make up your own dialects or make up your own conversations with these phrasal verbs. Okay, good, good idea. Yeah, and next, so you see, turn on, turn off, switch on and switch off. Okay, so turn on or switch on, okay? So they mean the same, they mean uh, the same. Turn on and switch on. So look, I turned on the computer or I turned on the radio, so it stopped working. It stopped working, it stopped working, okay? Or I switched on uh, the computer, I switched on the radio. So what about turn off or switch off? So they are opposite. They are opposite phrasal verbs. They are opposite phrasal verbs, yeah? So you can say, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about, um, yeah, I'll turn off. It started working, okay? It started working, okay? It started working, so I turned on. So on means start. I turned on, yeah, it started working because, you know, I was uh, typing it and I was uh, looking yet, uh, yeah, at uh, the next two ones, phrasal verbs, yeah, and uh, you see that, uh, that's why just uh, I wrote it this way, but you know that, of course, you know, it's uh, start, yeah, I turned on the computer radio, so it's very important, yeah, so I just, I checked your attention, yeah, it's very important to keep attention, okay? Uh, okay, so I turned on the computer, I turned on the radio, so it started working. I switched on the computer, I switched on the radio, so it's the same turn on or switch on. So I know that turn off and switch off are opposite phrasal verbs, okay? Opposite. 
So I turned off the computer, I turned off the radio, it stopped working, it stopped working. So maybe, look, um, you are listening uh, to the radio and it's very noisy, there is too much noise, I don't like it and I can tell you, okay, please turn off the radio or please switch off the radio or can you turn on the radio or I can be very polite and I can say, could you turn off the radio please? please yeah, to say please and smile and smile okay I switched off the computer computer I switched off the radio okay turn on the music turn on the radio turn on the computer okay exercises exercises okay so what time do you usually turn on your computer what time do you turn on your computer so what time does your computer start working so do you think you are addicted to the internet so it means that you spend a lot of time there so you think about it uh, very often and you can't do without it so why why not okay and what time do you usually turn off your computer so really what time is it so what time is it so I can see it so it's uh, one o'clock it's one o'clock at night yeah it's one o'clock at night so I think it's a very good time uh, for recording uh, this uh, very useful yeah, for this extremely useful video okay so you know that uh, I can record it uh, in the morning in the afternoon and or in the evening but uh, I don't know why but uh, I prefer yeah this time so in the evening in the afternoon or maybe at night but not in the morning so I don't I don't know but really I'm such a lazy person so and uh, I like to sleep okay so try on try on yeah where is it yeah try on so the next phrase of work the next phrase of work okay so I'd like to try on this dress so I'd like to try on this sweater I'd like to try on this coat so you are so in a shop yeah and you'd like uh, to see so how this clothes yeah will look on your body so and you can say yeah can I try it on? Can I try it on? Okay? Can I try it on? So you want to put it on, you want to put it on and see how it is on your body. So what a beautiful dress. Why don't you why don't you try it on? Why don't you try it on? So or you can what a beautiful dress. Try it on. Try it on. Yeah, you remember that. Yeah, we talked about it. If it's a pronoun, we put it in the middle. Try it, it on. Okay, exercises. Do you think it's necessary to try on clothes before buying them? Why, why not? How often do you go shopping or do the shopping? Okay, please remember these phrases. Go shopping and do the shopping. How often do you go shopping? How often do you do the shopping? Okay, wash up. Wash up. Yeah. So, we know, you know that uh, we often use this verb wash. Yeah. I washed my hair. Yeah, really. I washed my hair. I washed my face. I washed myself, yeah. Or we say wash up the dishes. Just remember this phrase, yeah. Wash up the dishes or uh, wash up the plates, okay? Just remember it. I don't like washing up the dishes. So yeah, and you. So it means that so you eat, you drink, yeah, and uh, there are dirty plates. There are dirty plates uh, after this meal, after this or that meal, and in it. To wash it up you need to wash it up yeah yeah so you have maybe lots of cups uh, cups spoons forks knives so you need to wash it up okay so we say wash up the dishes wash up uh, the plates yeah and uh, so you do it in the you, you do it in the kitchen okay and uh, I think it's your turn to wash up the plates or it's your time it's your turn to wash out the plates or it's time you washed up the dishes so you know that if we look at the structure, uh, we use it's time, and then a subject and past simple. It's time you washed up the dishes. Okay, good. Well, the next two phrasal verbs are fill in and fill out. Actually, uh, they are the same. They are the same. Uh, they have the same meaning, but we mostly use fill in. Okay, so fill in the form, please. Or you can also say fill out the form, please. But we mostly meet fill in. Okay. Uh, fill in the form please or fill in the gaps in these exercises okay gaps for example uh, this um, there is one exercise yeah so 
yeah and uh, for example happy so you need to choose M is or R M is or R so what are you choosing what are you choosing okay so really what are you choosing and uh, you uh, need to fill in the gap so I am happy okay or fill in the missing words fill in the missing words okay she's afraid of nothing she is afraid of nothing or she yeah she, or she isn't afraid or she isn't afraid of it she isn't maybe afraid of them she is afraid she isn't afraid of them she is keen on Judah she is keen on Judah okay yeah she isn't afraid yeah so you need to fill in the missing words you need to fill in the correct preposition okay we say afraid of yeah afraid of scared of frightened of so they have a similar meaning afraid of she's keen on Judah and uh, we say keen on yeah keen on and afraid of I feel in the missing words exercises okay so you often uh, feel you know you often fill in the gaps in different exercises ah okay so it's about the yeah it's a question right so it's for English speaking practice so did you often fill the gaps in different exercises while learning English okay what exercises on learning English are very effective what exercises on you know or for example what exercises on English grammar what exercises on English grammar are very effective here yeah? and the last one count on count on so it means rely on it means rely on it means trust trust look you can count uh, yeah you can count on my help so it means so you can be sure that I'll help you or you can be sure or you can be certain you can be sure or you can be certain uh, that I'll help you you can be sure or you can be certain that I'll help you so really I'll try to produce good videos I try to make good videos if you support me and I hope that I can count on your support I can count on your support I expect it from you really okay really thanks a lot yeah uh, for watching I uh, see you bye hi welcome to the channel English professionally and you know this video course is 30 phrasal verbs you need to know really just imagine it 30 phrasal verbs yeah yeah good and the first one is go on okay do you know this phrasal verb yeah and you know I have a question for you would you like to know phrasal verbs and use them in your speech I hope so this video is for you okay so speak English fluently using phrasal verbs okay if you want to sound natural in English you really need phrasal verbs also have a look at our great video 250 phrasal verbs okay so you know you can put a like and share it with your friends yeah you can share this video with your friends and you know I hope you'll enjoy this video I really hope so I really hope so okay are you ready to start I want to go on doing something uh, for example I want to go on learning English here or I want to continue learning English here really, it's a great idea brilliant idea okay I want to go on making money I want to go on living in this country okay or let me give you one more example I'd like to go on making a career why not why not so I think it's a good idea or I'd like to continue making a career okay well so do you have uh, do you have a job so do you work or study what's a job would you like to make a career or would you like to go on making a career so these questions are very good for English speaking practice okay good more examples I continued talking to her yeah continue doing something or I went on talking to her so it's past simple it's past simple okay it's uh, past simple it's past simple you see you see all right so I went on or I continue talking to her next I think I'll continue 
playing tennis, okay? Continue playing tennis. Or I think I'll go on playing tennis, okay? So how are you going to learn English? How are you going to learn English, really? <laughs> so I suppose or I think I'll go on learning English grammar and vocabulary on the channel English Professionally, okay? So we say go on doing, okay? Go on learning. I suppose I'll continue learning grammar and vocabulary on the channel English Professionally. Does it really help you? Sure, means the same, yeah? Or the question is the same. Why do we need phrasal verbs? Why do we need them, really? Why do we need phrasal verbs, okay? So, yeah, can we do without them? So, you know, native speakers often use phrasal verbs. So, if you want to understand native speakers, you need to know them, okay? So, I want to go on. It means I want to continue. And you can see different examples, okay? I want to go on learning English here, okay? So we say go on. We say go on doing something, okay? Uh, students often forget about ing, please. Don't forget about it, okay? So I okay. So the first phrase word is go on. It means continue doing something. Okay? Look, I want to continue learning English on this channel. You know, we say continue doing something. Yeah, please, remember it. So, continue learning. Okay? I want to continue learning English on this channel. This channel is amazing. Okay? It really helps. I study phrasal verbs. Okay? I study phrasal verbs, yeah, on the channel, yeah, you can say on the channel, yeah, on, you, I study phrasal verbs on the channel English professionally, uh, teaching English in English, so really, it's a great idea, and I really hope you understand it, okay, so you can smile, yeah, you can smile if you understand me, and so the question remains.